All right, so today uh, we're 25-1 and one with ABC right now. Uh, we have a couple more days till the ranked season ends. I believe it ends on the 28th, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to go into ranked. We're gold 2 right now. We're going to get to plat 1. That's literally what the goal is today. We're going to not stop until we get to plat 1. So uh, I guess we get going. If we draw a union hanger here, we're really good. Oh, we're playing some like weird god card deck. All right, I need this prospect to go off. All right, we need a union hanger here. A piece doesn't do it for us. Nice. Okay, we got the union here. Ooh, we're good. I'm just gonna start off. Oh, I should have just twin twisted both of these actually. Oh, I'm trolling. Oh, actually, never mind. It's good that I didn't pop this because this adds them something if it's popped. Yeah, a little bit of damage. We go into end phase. I think we're good here. Whoa, don't tell me we just got hit with a lava golem. Oh, it's fear mode. What? Bro, come on. What? I could have sucked on my own union hanger too, but no one plays trash like this. Oh, I actually have no plays. Well, actually, I could summon the uh, the Ash. I don't want to give him this because then he's going to get his thing. I can summon the Ash, make a Link 2. I have to. I'm not letting him keep this on the board. This is actually really annoying now because he broke the board. I'm going to be honest, I just thought it was like a scrub and I, he was just playing random god cards, but this apparently is a real deck. It's actually going to be hard to win now. I need to draw into a piece because I lost my one buster. You know what I should have done? I should have kept the Ash in hand and normal summon the Maxi and then Link 2 with the Maxi kept the Ash because I'm pretty sure if I just Ash one of these plays, he kind of gets stuck. So what you should be for raw now. Is he going for game? Can he game me? I don't think he can game me. Yeah, he doesn't have enough life points to game me. Yo, what? Bro, what is this? This is actually not even normal. I mean, he still doesn't OTK me, but that's, this is weird. Is that his only play? Does he just lose now if I just do anything? Sure, I have game myself for this, so it's not a problem. Um, See, now this is a problem though. I just need to get a piece or a hanger or something. Any piece would just do me, a, like, be huge for me. I'll just set this. I'll just keep the, I'll set the cyclone too. If I just draw one piece, I win. I just have to hope that he doesn't have another monster. You know, if I draw into an A, I can literally just chalice my own A and attack over it with... Oh, we win. He's only at 100 life points. Yeah, I win, because then this would be 23. Chalice OP or what? All right, that should be good. Oh, that's annoying for nothing. That was literally annoying for nothing. <laughs> but chalice A assault core for game. That's funny. It's when we get to plat, it's going to be a little bit annoying because I don't want to deal with Eldritch and stuff. But funny enough, I actually have better matchups against those decks than this random raw stuff. I can just set Slumber, set a Twister. That's honestly the play. You know what? I'll set one Cyclone too, just in case. Runs back to back games, we do Twister Cyclone together. Brother. Like, why is everyone just on, like, talk, like, how? This is a one of, no? I'm just going to Twister. I don't care. Get rid of his scales. I don't even want to know what everything's doing. I just wanted to pass. This is not a good game plan, by the way. I'm not going to tell you guys that this is good gameplay. I'm just literally, I don't want him to play. Can summon just the odd eyes? I'm just going to cycle on this. I just want him to tilt so he can scoop. If we draw into hanger here, at least we get full combo. Actually, if we draw into hanger, we to KM. Can we just draw into hanger, please? Hanger. No, not a hanger. <laughs> okay, search a kaiju. Actually, that's really good. Let's search a kaiju just to, uh, what's it called? Deck thin a little bit so we don't draw into it later. All right, now we just play the slow game. Yo, these are the games, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is the games in Master Duel that I hate. It takes way too much time, but maybe this is actually good for the game. But you know when you're just grinding, you wanna get to, you wanna get to play as fast as possible? Like, I don't wanna sit here and waste time. Like, you see what I mean? Also, this hand, I'll be honest though, this hand sucked. The shuffling mechanic in Master Duel, I heard is, I heard is bad. And it seems like it is. To be honest, I mean, I have a piece, but it doesn't do anything for me. At least the nice thing about having the A is if he destroys this, I can get the effect to get the other A. So I'll have a, a pieces in rotation at least. Just scoop, bro. You're going to lose this game. Yeah, I know you're going to lose this game. It's just a matter of time before you lose. He actually has cards. Though. I'm not going to lie. It's actually kind of scary when you're playing against pen like this, because if he draws, there you go. If he draws one scale, he has combos and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm just going to maxi him now. Give me some draws. Did I just maxi into maxi? Like, come on, bro. Okay. I have to draw a assault core because I have to OTK now. Did I said A assault core by the way, but I meant uni hanger and I drew the uni hanger. So actually we're blessed. He has an astrograph. I don't think he has any negate specifically in his hand, so I think we just win. Oh, I can't go into infinity. I'm missing a piece. I may have misplayed. Ah, uh, that's fine. You know what I can do here instead then? I'll just do this. Target the buster. I'll activate the effect. I win I win regardless, because I have enough damage. Oh, does he have can he summon something? What does this do? I should probably read my cards to be honest, or read other people's cards. Oh my god, these are warm-up games because I'm playing like trash. I'm actually playing like garbage. I still don't think he can do much anyways. How come he didn't? Oh, I guess it didn't give me a chance to maxi because he hasn't done anything. He's going to Tuning Magician and Tuning is going to summon from deck, so I'll just maxi at that point. Sure, I'm going to banish this because this, if this is destroyed, he pops a card. Okay, so one, I'm going to chain this, and then two, I'm going to chain the maxi. Well, this guy's playing so slow. 
Oh, that's nice though. Royal Red, that's kind of clean. At least we're drawing to our good cards now, but in all fairness, I guess we drew into all our bad ones earlier. I don't know, he's under Maxi now. I wonder where he's gonna, how far he's gonna go. He destroys all face-up cards. Sure, Buster's not affected by that. I'll just chalice it, actually. I just want, I want to keep these. Bro, these games are so boring. I'll be honest with you, these games are so boring. Yeah, I already have Galaxy, so he loses next turn no matter what. Is there anything I want a monster reborn? Sure, you know what? Let's just mess with him. It's Monster Reborn or Dolgoran. I'm not even going to continue. I could continue. I could summon B. I could do all that shenanigan stuff, but I don't care. Like, bro, like, this guy, this, this is why I wish sometimes we had chat. Because I'm like, bro, like, you're literally wasting my time and your time. Like, just, I would have, if I had chat Master Duel, I'd just been like, yo, scoop it up. But on the bright side, we are now 27 and 1. One more game, we're off to platinum. Oh, he actually doesn't do anything. Interesting. All right, so let's see if we can bait out an ash or something. Bait out a hand trap. Oh, no. He has nothing. He actually has nothing. All right, now we just go through the motions because I don't think he has anything. Like, why are you wasting my time, bro? Like, why are you sitting here watching me combo just for you to surrender? 32 and 1, baby. We're in plat. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Future Spanko here. Obviously by the time you guys are seeing this video, the season two ranked season has ended. And yes, we did finish platinum one with ABC. Now you guys saw that I think we got into platinum five. I think on that same stream, we got to platinum four actually. But after we got to platinum four, I've been streaming for a few hours and I got off stream. And then off stream, I only had like one more day to finish the ranked season. So off stream, I was like, all right, let's grind to get to platinum one. So we got to platinum one. By the way, all this master duel stuff, like I said, it's been on stream. I've been streaming it. It's on Twitch. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, link is in the description. You guys can check it out. Follow me on Twitch. You guys can catch me on stream. But point is, the reason I'm bringing this up is because, yeah, I did kind of finish this off stream. I kind of finished the grind off stream. I wanted to show you guys quickly what the deck looked like. I'm not going to do like an in-depth deck profile, but I'm going to talk a little bit more of my experience when I got to plot two, plot one, how you guys can play this deck, what changes I would make to this deck. So first we're playing triple maxi, triple ash, triple A, triple B, double C, one orbital, double galaxy soldier, one driver, and we're playing three different kaijus here. So this is the part that I kind of want to talk about. Again, I'm not going to go super in-depth about all my choices but one thing i want to change or i might change looking into this in the future is maybe instead of a dogran or maybe instead of the cumongous one of these two i would cut these for a jizakiru which is a light kaiju and the reason for that is because there were a lot of awkward times where i had galaxy soldier in hand but i didn't have another light monster but i had a kaiju so sometimes i was thinking i was like man i wish that kaiju was a light monster because at least i could use it for galaxy soldier so maybe 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 cut one of these for jizakiru at least you have that light option so yeah plus I think GZQ is a rare. This is an SR and this is a UR. So I think GZQ is a rare, which would be even more budget. And this was fully free to play, by the way. Nothing here was paid. I did all of this free to play. So I definitely think you guys can do it as well. But yeah, obviously a rare is a lot more budget than a UR. So maybe a GZQ here instead just for that situation. But I do like the three Kaijus. I would not cut the three Kaijus at all. Very, very relevant, especially when you get into like plot three, plot two, going into plot one, it becomes a little bit harder because you're playing a lot of Drytron and Drytron ends on ultimate this a lot and it becomes really hard to play around that. But honestly, if you just draw your Kaijus, you're in a good spot. So that's why you definitely need to be playing the Kaijus. One Monster Reborn, one Terraforming, Triple Union Hanger, of course, for the Terraforming. One Slumber, which I really, really liked, by the way. Triple Prosperity, Triple Chalice. Now this could be Droplet instead, but honestly, Chalice was just good enough for me. I really like this card. It's also just a rare, so really, really budget. One Twin Twister, Double Cyclone, Triple Unauthorized Reactivation, and Triple Evenly Mash. Now, I'm playing more than 40 cards because you never really want to draw your driver. So that's why we're playing more than 40. It gives us less of a chance of drawing driver. Of course, drawing driver isn't bad because if you have the Unauthorized Reactivation, then you're still in a not bad position. But again, you'd rather not draw the driver. So yeah, we're playing 42. Then for the extra deck, we're playing one Buster. Sucks that this card's only at one. One Barbaroid. This was mostly just to summon off Nova if I ever got destroyed. But actually, but funny enough, it won me a game. I think in Plat 2, it won me a game that I actually made the Barbaroid or summoned the Barbaroid and it actually helped me OTK. So this card was really good. One Emerald. Emerald only here because we only have one Buster. So there's situations where you put back the Buster with the Emerald. Then you have, of course, one Infinity for the Nova. One Claire and Rushka. One Cerberus, one Phoenix, one IP, one Union Carrier, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Nightmare Griffin. There's no reason to be playing Griffin in here. I never made it once. I literally, the only reason I have it in here is because I had the card and I could banish it off of Prosperity. That's literally all it was, just Prosperity fodder. That's that's literally it. Never made it once. One Apollo. And I don't think I made Apollo either. I think maybe make, made it one time against a Drytron matchup I made it, maybe? Yeah, I think I went to the IP Buster and then I just made Apollo off of IP Buster. 
I think that's the only time I ever went into it. Then one access code to OTK and one Underworld Goddess. This card was MVP. A lot of situations, this card was MVP. So yeah, I really, really like this card. And that's it for the deck, really. Of course, we did get the Platinum 1 with it, which I'm very, very proud of. Fully free to play ABC. I don't think a lot of people are representing ABC anymore. And it's really fun to see that I got the Platinum 1 and I could get the Platinum 1 with this deck. Now, again, I told you guys some changes I would make, which is mostly just the Kaiju. Otherwise, I think the deck runs really well. Maybe if you guys wanted to go into three Lightning Storms, you guys can do that instead. But yeah, I think this deck is really good. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about like hey if you guys want to try out a fun new deck i think you guys should definitely try out abc this deck was super super fun i'm excited and i'm happy that i got the platinum with it to be honest with you and i did it again all on stream which if you guys haven't checked me out check me out on stream twitch wednesdays and saturdays is when i stream so yeah that's gonna be fun but yeah so uh, thank you guys for watching really thank you guys for being here throughout the entire journey if you guys have been here throughout the entire journey or if you guys have just been you know starting now that's fine thank you guys for being here if you guys want to see more content let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And on top of that, again, check me out on Twitch. You guys can see me actually play live and see these like, you know, my inner thoughts more in detail of how I play this deck, because this deck is a little bit complicated to play, especially with Buster just at one. You have to make a lot of weird decisions, especially on Master Duel with this deck. So yeah, there, there's a lot more in depth on stream. I explain to you guys a lot more about how to play the deck on stream, but for now, I hope you guys did enjoy this little series. I'll probably do Master Duel content more in the future as well. And uh, that's really all I gotta say. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.